Hi guys, this is John here. In today's lecture, we will look at how we can make the drone do a yaw motion. And this will continue our lecture from where we had first seen how we pitch the drone forward and backward, how we roll the drone left and right. And now I will show you how we yaw the drone. So this motion of rotating the drone like this is called a yaw motion. So before we start this, I want to refresh your memory regarding why these propellers, especially the two opposite propellers, these ones, are of the same type. So I would request you to go to our previous lecture where I had explained the logic behind this. For example, if I call this motor 1, motor 2, motor 3 and motor 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And as I said before, motor 2 and motor 4, M2 and M4, both go in the anti-clockwise direction or counterclockwise direction, whereas motor 1 and motor 3 go in the clockwise direction. And in there, I had explained to you why they should be equal. Just a quick refresher of that concept here. Now, the details I would like you to go back and watch that lecture. But just a quick refresher if you remember what I had said that if motor 4 here needs to go in a counterclockwise direction, motor 4 goes in a counterclockwise direction, it causes the drone to go in a clockwise direction. If you remember, I had also explained it with a small helicopter. And to balance that, we had motor 1 which goes in a clockwise direction causing the drone to go in an anti-clockwise direction like this or counterclockwise. So both these guys cancel each other out. And similarly, these two guys cancel each other out. So now, if I want to cause a yaw motion on my drone, how do you think I will do it? It's a simple logic where I use the same concept of torque in my favor. So what do we do? We've got motor one, motor two, motor three, motor four. So what I do first is I keep all my four propellers at equal RPM so that the drone can hover. And after that, what I do is if I want to create a yaw motion in a counterclockwise direction that is this way so it's a counterclockwise direction what I will do is I will increase the rpm of these two motors here equally and leave these two guys the same so motor 1 and motor 3 what I will do is I will increase their rpm such that it is more than the rpm of these two motors so let's take some values so let us say all four motors are at 100 RPM. And then what I do is I increase motor one and motor three to 300 RPM. And there what happens is since both these guys are rotating in a clockwise direction, the torque generated by these two motors is more than the torque generated by these two motors. And you'll be asking why, because the RPM of these two motors is at 300 versus these guys is at 100. So what happens is this drone, because of these motors going in a clockwise direction, with a higher RPM, the drone starts a yaw motion in an anti-clockwise direction. And again, once you increase the RPM of these two motors, the drone will start yawing and it will continue to rotate like this and keep rotating, keep rotating, keep rotating and it will keep rotating continuously until you make all four equal and at that time the rotation stops. So this yaw motion for it to stop, all four motors have to be at equal RPM again. So what you do is, First, you increase motor 1 and motor 3 to 300, so the yaw motion starts. And then, once you have achieved the amount of yaw motion, you make all four equal again. And this 
ensures that the yaw motion stops and now your drone can maintain this angle and then you can choose to move forward, backward, left or right. So this was your motion in the counterclockwise direction. Now let us say we want to do a your motion in a clockwise direction. So you can already think about the logic that we have here. So there what we will do is that first we will keep all four motors equal. And then what I do is to create a yaw motion in a clockwise direction, I will increase the RPM of motor 2 and motor 4 because since these motors are going in a counterclockwise direction, if their RPM is higher than these guys, because of the counterclockwise motion and a higher RPM, the drone starts yawing in the opposite direction because of torque. And because of this torque here, what happens is it starts to yaw and it will continuously yaw until you make all four equal again. And at that time, this yaw will stop. Now, the question again that I will ask you, you have three options in front of you. First, all of them are 100. Then you make these guys 300. I'm just giving numbers as an example. And once you increase the torque, they'll continue to yaw. To stop the yawing, will you make these two guys 300 so that all four are equal? Or will you reduce these two guys here, your M2 and M4, so that they all become 100? At the end of the day, they are equal. Or do you reduce this from 300 to some number and you increase this from 100 to some other number? That's the question that you guys need to ask yourselves. But basically to stop the yaw motion, you have to make sure that all four propellers are at an equal RPM. Now, why is yaw motion important, right? So because your drone can fly forward, backward, left and right, if I need my drone to rotate and then fly in this direction, the only way my drone can rotate is my yaw motion. So if I want my drone to go like this, then what I'll have to do is I'll have to first hover, yaw, and then go. So a yaw motion helps your drone rotate about an axis and it's a very important motion as well. All three motions are important. So what we have understood in this lecture is that for me to yaw a drone, I take advantage of the concept of torque where a propeller going in one direction causes torque in the opposite direction by making sure that two of your propellers who are in the same direction have a higher RPM cause your drone to rotate in the opposite direction because of torque and that is my yaw motion. So again, by the concept of differential thrust or differential RPM, I'm able to cause another motion. Now, what we will do is we will try the same thing using our simulator. And there we will understand practically how we cause this yaw motion by controlling each propeller individually. We will move on to our practical lecture where we will see how the yaw motion is created using the simulator. In the level 2 course, I will also explain to you how do you maintain the yaw motion by still maintaining the height. So that is part of our level 2 course. I hope this lecture was clear. I'll see you guys in the next lecture. Thank you.